what other changes do you hope will come out of this? Well, we would like to make sure that UCLA and other large health systems and institutions also have very clear reporting mechanisms. It doesn't appear in our investigation with our clients that either the patients themselves or the staff members at UCLA really knew what to do if they became aware of misconduct or experienced it. We have a client who is actually a current UCLA health employee. She went to Dr. Heaps for treatment um, just as a patient and then subsequently reported immediately after that she had suffered alleged abuse and she reported that to her supervisor. And the supervisor essentially told her that she had misunderstood and that she needed to go back to work and be quiet about it. So clearly the reporting mechanisms are not in place as needed at UCLA and probably at other institutions, unfortunately. How has Dr. Heaps responded to these allegations? Well, obviously because of the criminal case, he hasn't responded much yet. Although what we're hearing, frankly, is that these women just don't understand that what he was doing was medically appropriate. And, and the idea that women just wouldn't understand what is sexual stimulation and obvious inappropriate behavior is, frankly, it's insulting. As an OBGYN, of course, I have thousands and thousands of colleagues who would never violate a patient. And we never want a patient to, to feel like they are in an unsafe environment because it is, it's a very vulnerable position. It's a very vulnerable position when you're, get, you're doing that exam. So. An OBGYN should never be commenting on the attractiveness of your breasts. They should never be inserting ungloved fingers. They should never refuse to have a chaperone in the room. There should be no sexual innuendos. You should always feel as though you are in a safe, secure environment. If for any reason you don't feel safe during an exam, you stop that exam. If you don't feel safe during an exam, you report that situation to someone because not only does it need to be addressed in your case, but you all, you're also speaking up for the many, many women who may say, hmm, did anything really happen? Or even the women who will be seen after you. So make sure you speak up. You deserve to feel safe. I mean, safe. I'm so disappointed to hear that they had these reports for years before any action was taken. And we did reach out to UCLA for a statement. The following is an excerpt from UCLA Health statement. We are deeply sorry that a former member of our staff violated the trust of his patients. We recognize that we must do more to provide the safe, supportive, and respectful environment. We initiated an independent review of our institution's response to sexual misconduct in clinical settings. That process will be guided by the principles of transparency, accountability, fairness, and devotion to our patients. You can find that full statement on our website, thedoctorstv.com. I, I, Ellen and Sevi, I want to thank you for sharing your story here with us today. And Darren, Jennifer, thank you also for being here. Um, and, and we'll have more about this case on our website as well.